G'day golfers, this is Glenn Haynes at the Monash Golf Academy and today's lesson is about the kinetic chain. That swing sequence, the transition from the backswing to the downswing. And it's really important for us to get that kinetic chain in the right order so that we can be the most efficient and the most powerful in our golf swing without losing balance and, and without having some other problems too. This is a great drill that I'm going to show you for the driving range, but be patient with it. There's an example of a, an effective kinetic chain. We're generating power from the ground up. We're using the legs, the hips, the trunk, the arms and the wrist to propel the ball forward. Here's an example of a poor kinetic chain. So that was just arm and shoulder, went about half the distance. And if you see someone throw like that, then you know that they're not really using the whole body, and they're not using the ground very effectively to throw the ball very far. What we saw then was the arm and the, and the wrist worked early and then the lower half. And that's a poor kinetic chain and very inefficient. So we see that in golf shots. And we see that a lot in golf shots with players getting top, to the top of the backswing and then propelling the club down with the hands and arms and the shoulders and the lower half not really engaging, not using ground force energy not pushing off, and the sequence of the swing is sort of upside down. So the problems we see with players that swing like that is casting, so we're losing that energy too early before impact, hanging back, maybe hitting the ground first, thinning shots. The problems with that sort of kinetic chain is the list is endless. So I'm going to show you a drill that's really going to help you to feel a more effective kinetic chain. And you know, this has been proven, a lot of biomechanical studies on that. Every player that is efficient, uh, and obviously we're talking about the majority of tour players, can generate a lot more ball speed, a lot more club head speed, much more easily because the sequence, the transition from the backswing to the downswing is in order. And that order is literally hips turning, trunk turning, arm coming down, shaft releasing into the golf ball. If we do anything but that order, then we're going to be inefficient, we're not generating the, the speed that we're capable of. So, here's a drill to really force you to get that kinetic chain in the right order, basically from the ground up. Nice and slowly, and then swing through. Now you really need to think about this, get to the top really slowly, real slow motion, and then make sure that that belt buckle is turning through first. If you get that going first, then the likelihood is that the sequence is going to be very efficient from the ground up from there. So again, very slowly, and then making sure that you're turning from the lower half, getting that ground force energy. Let's try it with the ball. Really take your time with it. And you'll find that it's much easier to stay in balance and produce that kinetic chain that way. So you can see by that example, watching someone throw, how important it is. You watch a baseball pitcher and how efficient they are with that kinetic chain, really getting the ground force energy from, you know, using the legs and the hips first and then allowing the rest of the body to follow and producing that sort of slingshot motion. It's very efficient, very powerful, and it's gonna help you with your ball striking, producing more lag, and lots of different other areas it's going to help you with as well. Head to the range, check it out, and be really patient with it. You need to be really slow. It might feel slow, but then if you video it and have a look back, you think, oh, wow, that's still way too fast. So get that, that backswing really, really slow, ultra slow motion, and then you can fire that kinetic chain from there. Good luck. Are you the best golfer you can be?